In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cute little lion or teddy bear or even a cat or dog, depending on how you change up some of the elements. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is create a circle card base. So I'm going to grab my tool over here to the uh, shapes tool over here to the left, and I'm going to select circle. Now while holding my shift key down, I'm going to draw myself a circle. We usually cut a cardstock about 11 and a half inches, so I don't generally go above that. So let's resize this to half of 11 and a half, which would be 5.25. So I'm going to go over here to the position and size window, and I'm going to change that to 5.25. And because I have the key proportions checked, when I hit enter, you'll see that they both change. And now I have my card base at 5.25, but I need the second half of that. So let's go up to effects. We're going to go to symmetrical mirror, and we're going to go from click on top to bottom. Now, a lot of these tools and effects that we're going over have already been created or we've already done videos on. So please make sure you check out our site at 3dsvg.com for additional details. So for this one, I am going to, I changed it to top to bottom and I'm going to increase this number. And basically what we're looking for is we just want a little bit of the, uh, this card base to show so that when it flips, it's still attached. If it was, if I did this at this point, you'll see that that really doesn't look like a card base. Well, you could, but I want it to look more like a circle. So I'm just gonna undo that and show you guys again. So symmetrical mirror, top to bottom. I'm gonna increase this just until a little bit is touch, touching. Now I'm using the up arrow to increase this value, but you could just Go ahead and change that number. Let's see. Almost there. Again, I just want a little bit of this touching. And generally, sometimes what I'll also do is just go off a little bit. You can see that it's not touching, which is not what I want. But I can also go back a little bit and use the down uh, arrow here so that now I can see where that line is at. So let's just back that up just a tad. Let's make it exactly 11, and I'm gonna add a center line because that's going to actually be our score line. So I click OK, and now you can see that is my card base. That looks great. Um, I'm going to go over here. You'll see that my score line now, if you're using something like a Cricut Maker and you want your score line to actually score, I would leave it as solid. But if you're not using a Cricut Maker or you want the line to actually cut a perforated dashed score line, which I prefer, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on my fill and stroke panel and the line style I'm going to change to dashed. And now I don't usually like the way this does this right off the bat because to me that looks like almost a coupon where it's really perforated. So I'm gonna change that. So if I'm over here and I go back to that window where my line style is and I'm gonna click edit, I'm gonna change these sixes to 20s. All I'm doing is just highlighting them in changing the number and then click add and you'll see that that has changed for me and that looks a lot better. The only thing that I think I might want to do is move this over because this is the left hand side is a little bit close and I don't want that to tear so I'm just going to highlight the uh, that square line and using my arrow keys on my keyboard just nudge it over until it's a little bit more centered. That looks great to me. Alright so let's do view fit to window. So that is my card base. So I am going to just move this off to the side for later. All right, so now I need the back panel. Now this is going to be the panel that actually goes on here. It's white for some reason. So let's change our fill to a color. 
and let's just change this to um, let's just change this to a little bit darker brown maybe or tannish there we go so this is going to actually be in this case I'm making the lion so I'm gonna make the main of the lion and it's gonna go on the front of the card base so I have this it doesn't really matter the size right now because we'll resize this when we're done so I have my circle already selected I'm gonna draw out a circle all right and I'm gonna select both of those and I'm gonna go to now you want to make sure that the the smaller circle you'll see on the layers panel the smaller circle is on top of the larger circle I'm gonna select them I'm going to say effects and I'm going to do object on path and I'm going to click on auto preview right away so that you can see that you'll see that it is there I also want to change actually I'm going to kick cancel I'm going to change this because I have a stroke that's white I don't want any stroke so I'm going to change that to none there we go all right so effects object on path auto preview now I want this to the repeat I'm going to put to fill path length you'll see that that makes a nice little shape here I think I'm going to offset that by shrinking them in just a little bit maybe like that looks good and I want to weld it because I want all of this to be welded together so I'm gonna click weld I don't want to remove the path but I do want to remove the original object so I'll hit OK and you'll see that these pieces have been welded but that original piece has not so all you need to do is select everything and go to path union so now this is one piece and again we made our card base five and a quarter so let's change this to 5.25 actually I'm going to uncheck this and make sure that it is symmetrical. For some reason, it is not, but that's fine. Let's just change that to 5.25. Enter. Perfect. So now this one will fit right on top of this. It'll be slightly larger, which is fine. All right. So now this is going to be like the main. And so now let's put a all we need really is the muzzle now so let's create a new circle and I'm going to make this a little bit darker as well so let's make this darker and we'll resize that in a second let's move that to here and I'm holding the shift key and just kind of bringing this down a little bit to like that that is cute all right so that is like the, the muzzle. So now let's create a cute little nose. For the nose, I'm going to use a heart. Let's go to the library. Let's select the little heart that we can move over here. That's going to be his nose. That is super cute. So that's going to, I'm probably going to make that black. So let's just change that to black right now. That is cute. And I don't need a stroke on that. So let's change the stroke to none. There we go. Now the eyes, I'm just gonna use the eyes. I'm going to use um, rhinestones, some black rhinestones, but you could create some little circles for the eyes. And I think I am going to, I think I forgot the head. Oh no. <laughs> let's try out a head. So let's change that to another brown and again when you cut these out you can pretty much make these any color that you'd like and I'm gonna move this down on the panel so that you guys can see that so that's gonna go about there alright let's highlight everything and let's center that and I'm going over here to the position and size I'm gonna center that to the selection and I'm clicking that middle line tool those are cute so my eyes are going to go here I got my nose okay perfect so basically all I really need left for this is some ears so let's draw some ears so I'm holding my shift key oops let's select that holding my shift key I'm getting some ears let's make this 
a really dark brown so you guys can see it. I know these colors are probably looking crazy right now, but <laughs> when I cut it out, you'll see. I'll show you. So let's move this down below. Let's move this down the list a little bit. There we go. That's cute. So basically, I mean, depending on the way you make the ears, um, if you made the ears pointy, you could make a cat. If they were droopy down, you could make a dog. Um, if you changed the mane, you could actually have um, a teddy bear. Either way. So I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And that one's going to go over here. Again, I can just move this down on the panel. That is so adorable. Okay, so these are my pieces. So let's move this off to the side. So my card, all the elements to the card are done. Let's go ahead and make an envelope. So let's bring this back over here. So to make the envelope, I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to a rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle around the card base. And I'm going to move this down to the bottom so that you guys can see it. I think I accidentally merged that. So let's move this down here. There we go. All right. So I basically want to make sure that this, this is basically going to be the size of the card. And I want to make sure that the it fits into the envelope. So if you make it a little bit larger, it'll accommodate for the thickness of the card. So I kind of tend to make this a little bit larger. And so that kind of looks okay. So with that selected, I do want to make it a square though. So the width is 6.85. Let's, let's see if we can make this a six by six box. That actually looks a little bit too big, so maybe 5.75 by 5.75. That looks good. So that I think I'm going to go ahead with the 5.75. So let me move my card base off. So, okay, 5.75. Now, we need to go ahead and create some flaps. So the easiest way to create flaps is I'm going to get my circle. I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to change it to 5.75. I'm making it the same exact size as that square. I'm going to select both of these and making sure that the circle is on top, the layer, the circle layer is on top of the square. I'm going to do my object on path again. So object on path. I'm going to do auto preview. So it aligns to the middle, which is what we want. I want three additional copies and I want to weld that. So that is what it's going to look like. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go down to my square and I'm going to change the color to none, but I'm going to change my stroke to black so that you could see it. Actually, let's change this color to white so that we can see everything. Um, I don't need a stroke on it, but this I want white. There we go. And I'm going to move that score line layer up. All right, perfect. So this is what we got so far. Let's change this color to a gray because you can't see white on the screen. There we go. Perfect. So this so far is going to be our envelope. Now all I need to do is change. Now if you are using Cricut, again, you can leave these lines as solid. I am going to change those to dashed score lines. So I'm going to go to my fill and stroke panel and I'm going to change that line style to dashes. And again, I'm just going to change that to 20 and 20. And I'm going to click add. That looks perfect. I'm happy with that. Depending on the size of your envelope, if it doesn't look like it's going to fit, if you see how close I am to the edges, this will fit. But if you highlight it and then you rotate it, you will get a lot more room in there. So now you see I have a lot more room. 
So don't be afraid to rotate your designs to get a lot more room in there. I actually could, if I wanted, I you know could go like that. Now I have a lot of more, <laughs> a lot more room for that. So all right, so I am going to cut this out, and then I'm going to show you how quick it is to assemble. All right, so I have my pieces cut out. Um, we have our card base that just goes right like that. Perfect. All right. So I have my main, and I'm just going to glue that right on top of here. And I think I'm just going to apply some glue to this piece. I've got a brand new glue bottle here, so <laughs> I'm afraid I don't want it to come out too quickly. All right, so it doesn't really matter. I inked the edges a little bit on this. So that is going to go about like that. All right. It's like the main. This is going to be the head. And I inked a little bit on that also. I'm going to put the ears on next. Just I need a little tiny bit. And I think they're going to go about here. I guess it doesn't really matter for the first one. I'll put a little bit of glue on this one and then line it up. Just don't want my glue to come out really quickly. So if I have that like that, this one I probably want about here. Like that. Now you can pop some of these up too. I just didn't. Well, I am going to pop up the muzzle, but you could, totally could add some glue on this guy. I'm being really messy with my glue, but you can totally be more accurate and a little bit more clean. All right. That is looking super cute. Now I did put some foam tape on the back of the muzzle and I want him a little bit a little off center don't really want it this one too centered because I'm going to put eyes on so we're going to put him here I did end up cutting this out of glitter black glitter which I thought would be super cute so add some glue to the back of that this is going to go at the top of the nose like so and then we just need the eyes so I'm gonna put a little bit of drop of glue there and put my eye down I always have problems centering eyes so let's see how well I can do Not too bad. You probably can do a little bit better. But I don't know. I think that's a pretty cute card. You know? Not too shabby. So now let's work on the envelope. Super quick. So basically you're just folding the sides in. So you can either fold the sides in and up. And then you can create the opening. Or... You can put your card in and you can just put maybe like a ribbon around this or you can go like this. And that holds it down a little bit. It's still, if I creased these a little bit more, they probably would stay down. Or you could put like a sticker or something there or again, a ribbon. But that's it. And you have a quick and easy card. And again, if you change the ears on here, you if you made them a little bit longer, you could totally make a puppy. If they were pointed, it could be a cat. If you just change the mane, it could be a teddy bear. This is my pseudo lion. <laughs> and I printed or I cut on... Uh, 
cardstock that was white on the inside, but if you used a solid color or whatnot, you could just create another insert to uh, write your sentiment on the inside. All right. So I hope Hopefully you found this a very easy and cute card to create and thanks for joining me.